Welcome back, this is Mitkunek. And today we're looking at something very interesting. We're looking at rotating plane in 2D. Here on the right side you see rotating plane in 2D but high, high resolution in uh, 1500 times 1500. And here you, you're seeing it in low resolution, 400 uh, times 400 pixels. Let me explain the code behind this. It's very simple. This is the low resolution. Uh, you set up the bitmap, the graphics, you set up the settings, uh, the radius of the circle, anchor point of the circle, or, or the center point is. Uh, in center of the plane right here and what you do is you set up the center you set up the radius you set up the, uh, the start angle uh, 1140 uh, in this case uh, actually it should be 90 let me see no you, you, you can specify any angle you want you can let me see zero it should be good no. it doesn't matter then uh form uh form load uh on loading on the form it uh specify uh, the binds the graphics to the bitmap then it sets the bitmap on the picture box as image and starts the uh, uh, rotating timer here rotating here I missed out a rotation timer so doesn't matter uh, starts the uh, uh, ro rotating time rotation time timer for rotation and what it does it binds again uh, it should have this line of code this uh, without this line of code uh, it would, uh, you would have an error on this here line and uh, clears out the previous image to color white. You can set to color transparent or to any uh, color. color. Uh, and then uh, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, and point 0.4 are the vertices of the rectangle or the plane you're rotating. It's a plane because it, in 3D plane or rectangle, there's no three dimensional. In 2D, there's no three dimensional side, uh, and uh, it sets new point. And here is the uh, fun part it calls the line coordination algorithm. It's actually you need to set a angle, radius, and center of the circle, and it will tell you uh, what point of the circle, uh, uh, the, the point of the circle, and what I did here set up the first angle and if you uh, see here if it's zero in this array zero is for the x coordinates uh, sine and here cosine is uh, one for the y coordinates so I set up the angle and now on the next vertices the angle is modified by 90 degrees you see on the on the third is 180 degrees from the first and to 170 degrees it's very simple here uh, it's moduli 360 because uh, for example what's 100 plus 270 it will be 370 without this module to 360 dollar won't work so what I did here uh, this this algorithm I saw it on uh, Yusuf Shakel's channel. He uses a lot of this algorithm for uh, his tutorials, and uh, algorithm is pretty uh, straightforward if you know uh, trigonometry. I won't explain it now, but but it just angle. You put the angle, you put the radius and the center. What it does here, it uh, it sets an array of points and um, grabs all the points. Now here sets binds up the bitmap to the picture box one again. If you haven't, 
and then fills the polygon uh, and the points from this array on the vertices and then what it disposes it if the angle is uh, 360 we'll set up to angle 0 if not angle plus plus this is pretty straightforward programming and so what I need to explain you that those vertices are actually on the circle uh, if, if you want to see the circle I have this line right here of code just do this and you wait you will see the circle that those vertices are rotating on it's it uh, with uh, without perspective in the plane um, it's pretty straightforward they use a circle it's a it, it's mathematical thing rotation goes on the circle and if if isn't if it isn't the perspective Okay, in this two, the, the high resolution has a circle too. If you go here, form one, you can see I added a line uh, that you can draw the circle on. You see, the circle is pretty smooth. That's why it smooth rotates, and you you can you can speed up the timers by setting uh, interval uh, on the timer higher. You see here, I set it up to twenty. 200 milliseconds you can set up to 100 mil milliseconds or less and now um, this is all uh, all for the low resolution and uh, not accurate it's not take what I did on the high resolution for accuracy I just all the values here in the algorithm I time uh, I um, all the values times 4 and now four times more accurate algorithm and you see here it's uh, 180 times 4 right I think right it's actually 360 times 4 and then this is the half 360 108 and uh, here the half of 1404 and now here I, uh, it must be for the angles too here when 90 was here I set up to 360 right and here too and here if you uh, if you don't do this and you do just angle plus plus that means every tick of the timer angle will uh, will you know angle will be equal to angle plus one and what if you don't set it up to zero again it won't uh, it, you, you're gonna have a lot of uh, a, a big number that your RAM uh, it's not good for your RAM and for the rendering purposes and that's it 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 here is the ellipse if you want I will put them like this so if you want to actually see it just remove the comment notations and you will see it, it uh, this this uh, are, are, I'm going to be uploading this on my github so go check that out and uh, pretty straightforward things vertices you can do with more vertices if you want it's uh, a little bit complicated if you're a big beginner uh, I don't think that's good for you I think just go on the beginner stuff and and learn learn this and you see here it's uh, classified as int you can you can make float and then ints and much more complicated stuff I did it this way I just times 4 in every number here boom high resolution high accurate very good accuracy and thanks for watching guys I will do an uh, ellipse algorithm with two ray, uh, two different radiuses. So uh, I will do a tutorial on this one. And yes, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.